Hi everyone, David Jackson here, slingandstonemarketing.com and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a subdomain to your SiteGround hosting account. If you don't already have SiteGround hosting, I highly recommend it. You can find a link to their website in the description below. And if you use that link, you can always get the best deal that they have going on at the current moment. Uh, I am an affiliate and I do get a commission if you were to purchase uh, their hosting through that link. So first you're going to log into your SiteGround account. And when you do that, you should see your My Accounts page. And then we're going to go and click on the Go to cPanel button. And when you do that, you should see a page that looks similar to this. This is the cPanel homepage. Then we're going to go down and we're going to click on Subdomains, which will bring us to this page here. So a couple of reasons why you might want to have a subdomain is let's say if you have an e-commerce website and you want to attach a blog to it, then you can create a blog subdomain where the URL for that blog would be blog.yourdomain.com. Uh, another reason might be if you have an image-heavy website, uh, you can store all of your images in a images subdomain. So anytime an image needs to be called for your website, it would be called from the images.mydomain.com URL. Doing that helps with speeding up how fast your website loads because your images would all be called from a separate URL from your main domain name. And search engines really like websites that load fast, so anything that you can do to help it load faster, the better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a subdomain called images. So I will type that in here. And when I do that, it will automatically create a folder called images as well. And as you can see below that I already created one called demo earlier using this same process. So we'll just go ahead and click create. And as you can see, it says that you have successfully created your subdomain images.slingandstonemarketing.com. Then we'll just go ahead and click on go back. And as you can see, we have the demo subdomain, which I created earlier, and we have images, which we just created right now. So anything that I put in the images folder will be used for the images.slingandstonemarketing.com subdomain. So if you try typing in your subdomain now, nothing will probably show because there's nothing in that folder. So we're going to go ahead and create something to put in that folder so that you can test it out and see that it's working. So we're going to come up here and go to the cPanel home. So for those of you who want to install a blog on your subdomain, then you would just come down here to WordPress and click on that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and go to the file manager and click on that. Then you're going to look down the left hand side and navigate to the images folder that you just created or whatever it is that you called it. So I'm just going to create a simple HTML file just to give it something to read for this demo. Uh, so that you can see how the subdomain would work. So I'm going to come up here and click new file and I'm going to name that file index.html and click on create new file. Then I'm going to select it and click on HTML editor. So I'm getting this warning message which is basically saying that my main website is secured using HTTPS. And if I am going to have any resources for that website on this subdomain, then I need to make sure that my subdomain is also secured using HTTPS. Otherwise it can create some problems 
and it will give the visitor a warning message saying that my website is not completely secured. And that's because for this example, if, I have, if all of my images are not on a secured subdomain, uh, my main domain will be calling those images and it would not be a secured connection. You can see how to set up a SSL certificate for your subdomain and your website in another video that I've done before. I'll put the link in the description below. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to set up an SSL certificate for this subdomain. So I'm going to just go ahead and click edit. And this is the HTML editor. So I will just go ahead and put something in like hello world and click save. And now we can go ahead and test out our subdomain. So I'll put in images.slingandstonemarketing.com. And as you can see, hello world is displaying. So that means that our subdomain is working properly. So we can go ahead and install a blog on the subdomain if we want or we can go ahead and start uploading images that will be called by our main website. Whatever it is that you set up your subdomain to do, it is now ready to go. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It will give me an opportunity to help others. And if you like to see more videos like this, be sure to click the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments or topics that you want me to cover in future videos, be sure to leave them below in the comments section. Also, if you went through and followed along through this video and you set up a subdomain on your hosting account, I want you to use the hashtag giant slayer down in the comments below. It will let me and others know that you have conquered this giant that was standing in your way from making progress. I thank you for taking your time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.